welcome to my ColourPop review. Okay, so every time I wanted to film this video, I ended up not filming it because ColourPop came up with something new. And I was like, well, people are going to want to know what I think of that too. So I better buy some of that. And then they came up with something new. And I was like, well, people are going to want to know about that. So I better buy that. <laughs> It was like, finally I had to cut it off. They just came out with the sheer lippies and I was like, I gotta cut it off somewhere. I gotta film this video at some point. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. I got some, uh, a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of eyeshadows. I've got cheek products, uh, including blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. And I've got some lippy sticks, lippy pencils, and the new liquid lipsticks. So we're gonna go ahead and go over what I got and my thoughts on everything. None of this was sent to me for review. I purchased everything outright with my own money. I am not affiliated with ColourPop in any way. This is just a regular person review. I have no discount codes, none of that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in right now and we're going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadows. Now, what I decided to do with the eyeshadows as I decided to, of course, now I've got a collision of products over there. Um, what I decided to do was get the two kits that most interested me and this one is called Mondays in Malibu and then this one is the Kathleen Lights tr uh, Quad and this is the Where the lights is where the light is uh, these were the most interesting to me so this is what i got now this is going to be a bit controversial because this is not a glowing review i do have some negatives to these shadows and if you disagree with me that's perfectly fine i respect you 100 percent uh i but i have to give my honest review and this is what i have to do for my honest review is tell you some things that i don't like about these eyeshadows but let's go ahead and and just just jump in now this uh, this has six different eyeshadows in it. I will put the pricing down below because I don't know the pricing offhand. Uh, but this, the shades are beautiful. And uh, I'm not going to go ahead and swatch every single one of them. I don't know. Should I? Should I swatch all of them? Have you seen all of these a million times? I don't know. This one is called Sand Swoon. We'll just swatch them. This is called Sand Swoon. Uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the texture of these first. Now, they are uh, very creamy. And you do have to make sure you put the tops on very, very well or else they will dry out. I can already feel like the top of this was drying out just a little bit as I rub my finger in this. Uh, I do feel it getting moist again, which makes me happy. This seems like, uh, this has like a little bit of gold shimmer in it. It's very difficult to see on camera. Let me see if I can get it to capture the light there. Uh, but it, it does have a little bit of gold, uh, like gold flecks in there. It looks matte from, from far away, but then you can see the gold. Uh, let me swatch that for you here. There you go. And this is a really, really nice base. I really have been enjoying this shade a lot. It's a nice base for other shades. Uh, and because it does come off matte with that little bit of sparkle, it kind of reminds me of the, what is it? The, um, the Too Faced sugar pop shadows where they're matte but then they have a little bit of glitter in the background so they're not like sparkly but they have that shimmer gives it a nice dimension so this one is definitely a win. Uh, if you haven't heard of ColourPop by any chance, it is a very affordable brand compared to a lot of high end. Now this one is called Snake Bite, and this one is a metallic shade. There you go, and we'll swatch that one for you. And they, um, I, they, I don't feel that, people compare them sometimes to the Maybelline uh, Dream Bouncy blushes. I don't really feel that bounce in there. They just feel a little bit creamy and wet to me. Uh, so there's Snake Bite, and this is also another beautiful shade that I've really been enjoying. Now, this one I do have some critiques on. This one is not my favorite. This one is called Prickly Pear, and I know that this one is very, very popular with lots of people. I don't like this shade. <laughs> don't kill me! Don't do it! Okay, this one leaves so much fallout on my cheeks. When I first apply it, of course it looks beautiful, but by the end of the day, it looks like a fairy attacked me. Like, I mean, just glitter, just covering my under eyes, and I don't like that. I mean, from the jump, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll swatch it for you. It's beautiful, but it does have some chunky glitter in there, that falls all over my cheeks by the end of the day. So very pretty for initial application, but I don't, uh, I would not repurchase this one, even though I know, I know everybody loves this one. I have to give my opinion and my opinion is sometimes different than other people. So 
there you go. Uh, another one that I am not as big of a fan of is this one here. This one is in Gecko. This one also left some fallout on my cheeks. And I was not, I'm not, I don't like that. I mean, like, like I'm saying, it's not upon initial application. It's through the day. It's by the time I take my makeup off by the end of the day, it's all over my face. So if that doesn't bother you, you may really enjoy these. Uh, but this is, this is beautiful. It's got a beautiful iridescence to it. It's like a silver with some pink iridescence in there and it's a gorgeous shade they apply beautifully they blend very nicely with the brush they blend very nicely with other shadows uh, and this one also I believe gave me some fallout yes it did this is Mirage this is another metallic okay and this one kind of has a green like a hunter green tint to it so that one's very very pretty and then finally hot tamale hot tamale and this one is beautiful in the outer corner blend it up into the crease just gorgeous okay so i would personally not recommend this kit just because of the um the glitter that ends up on my cheeks but if that doesn't bother you girlfriend and you love these shades go for it man get it get it but it bothers me i don't like it if i could go back i would not have purchased this dare i say Dare I say anything negative about ColourPop? Oh, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. All right, moving on to the Kathleen Lights quad. <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me by the end of this video, but I am not going to lie to you. I'm not going to. Just, I, I don't give in to peer pressure, I, I don't. Okay, the Kathleen Lights quad comes with four shadows. This one is in Cornelius, and this is a beautiful matte brown. It's a warm matte brown. Let me get a tissue here, because my fingers are getting to be a hot mess. Okay, where's my tissues? <laughs> All right, so let's swatch these. I'm gonna swatch these inside my arm just to give you a different place to look so we don't get these quads or these shadows confused. All right, so this one, bam, beautiful applies beautifully, nice and creamy, nice and easy to work with. And I do give ColourPop a lot of credit for coming up with this formula uh, as far as it being very, very different. Just very enjoyable to play with. This one, Blaze, Fall Out City. I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm, I can't help it. All right, moving on from that. You guys understand. But this one leaves glitter all over my face. Gorgeous initial application. Got that nice shine to it. Nice metallic shine. It's definitely got gold glitters on there. They start off on your lid, they end up on your cheeks. And this one I've used the most. I would say I've used this one the most out of all of the shadows I've gotten from them. This one is called Glow. And this is just a creamy base. Nice base for eyeshadows. I don't even know if that shows up on my skin tone, but I like it because it mutes out the, uh, the discoloration in my lid, so I have a nice base to start from. And then the last one in this quad is the Kathleen Light Shade, and I love this one as well. This one does not give me fallout on my cheeks. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite bronze eyeshadows of all time. Just perfect. Oops, that was the wrong side. Bam, let me put it on the other side because I just did that wrong. Okay, there we go. Ooh, can you even see that? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I can do better, I can do better. Wait, I'm gonna get my beauty guru card revoked. <laughs> what is happening here? Go, wait, where am I supposed to be swatching this thing? Get, what, what? I'm gonna have a big stripe of brown. I don't even know what's happening here. Oh, there we go. So that's Kathleen Lights and girlfriend. If Kathleen had to name her a shadow after herself, this was a good choice because this shadow is perfect. Perfect. Love this. Now, as far as the Kathleen Lights quad, I would recommend this one because three out of the four shadows are hits for me. And the only one that is a miss for me is Blaze because of the glitter face. I also, also have one more eyeshadow that I forgot about. I got this in a single just when I was getting some other things. This is called In a Pickle, and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that for you real quick. 
and it's just a matte pink. And this is a really nice base for other shadows. It's a nice all over lid color for me. And I really enjoy it a lot. Staying power is fantastic. No weird funky things happening with it. Uh, it doesn't go on patchy, just a beautiful, beautiful shade. It does take a little bit of time to build it up. So you can do a more sheer look or you can uh, kind of pat it over a couple of passes and you'll get a nice opaque look. All right, let's go ahead and put these away and we'll move on to the blushes, bronzers, and highlights that okay, I own. So I have two of each because I wanted to try out different uh, formulas so that I could give a good review. Look, Look, these are not coming off. This is just a dry tissue. Come on. Stay in power, girlfriend, stay in power. These eyeshadows do last a really long time. Really, really long time. Okay, what we'll do is we'll use the other arm and we will start with the blushes. I have two, this one is in birthday suit and this one is in holiday. Uh, someone told me that the blushes, was it the blushes? No, that was the highlighters, were a little bit of a different formula, uh, but I don't really see that. Uh, they feel very, very similar. Uh, maybe, I don't know, they feel, they feel clayish almost. They feel like clay. This one in birthday suit, you can see how much I have dug into that one. That is because this one does not show up very well on my skin tone. So I would highly recommend this one for very, very light skin tones. I would definitely not recommend that for anyone that is deeper than me because it barely shows up on me. Uh, unless you like a very light hint of color on your cheeks, you're going to work, you don't wanna look like you got a lot of blush on, then this will be perfect for you. Uh, but again, I don't even know if it's gonna show up on medium to deep skin tones. I have no idea. This one I like, it's just you gotta work at it to get some pigmentation. And then the other one, this one on the other hand, is bright, girlfriend, it is bright. This one is in holiday. Oh no, <gasps> look what just happened. Has that happened to anybody else? That just happened. What? That totally just happened. My family's being loud outside the door, please excuse them. I am not going to silence my family for filming. It isn't going to happen. This kind of matches my lips a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and swatch that for you. Bam, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so what the way I apply these is I typically kind of stripe them onto my face and then I blend them out. That's what I do. I use them like a cream blush. I just blend them with my fingers. I've also used them with a stippling brush. Uh, I've tried applying them with a regular blush brush and I don't like it like that. I either like blending them out with my fingers or with a stippling brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend these out just so you can see what they may look like on the cheeks. So just blend it out a bit. They're really beautiful and their lasting power is very, very good. So for the price, I would definitely recommend the blushes. All right, moving on. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe my blush came out. <gasps> wow. Good to know though, in case I want to depot them. Very good to know. Okay, let's move on to the highlighters. I got the ones in Wisp and Lunch Money, and these are dupes for higher end shadows. And I can tell you that what I did was I wore them, uh, the high end version on one side and the uh, the ColourPop one on the other side to see staying power and things like that. Exactly the same, to be completely honest with you, uh, as far as lasting power. Now this one is Lunch Money. This one is a dupe for the Balms Mary Luminizer, and I will prove that to you in just a moment. Okay, so here is Lunch Money. I'll do Lunch Money on the left. Boom. It is so wet and creamy. This one is, where did it go? Where'd you go? This one is in Wisp, and this one is a dupe for Becca's Opal, which is another very famous one. Leave a space and go bam. There you go. Gorgeous highlights. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have no complaints about these highlights. These highlights are phenomenal. If I could say that there was one thing that I would recommend 100% from ColourPop, it would be the highlighters. They are phenom. Okay, moving on, let me show you the dupiness. Where, where are you, Mary Lou? Did I unpack you yet? Oh no, where's my Mary Lou? Mary Lou, where are you? It's like Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? It's like Mary Mary Lou, where are you? Hunt successful, I found my Mary Lou and I found my opal. Here's my opal, I just have a little mini opal. So we'll start with Mary, 
There you are, baby. This was my Holy Grail highlighter, has been forever. And here is Mary Lou. Mary Lou's gonna be on the right. Bam. Check that out. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, looking at them, it looks like Mary Lou is very slightly peachier but you're never gonna be able to tell that on the cheeks. Never, ever, ever. Okay, let's move on to Becca's Opal. And actually, I found out about this in the What's Up in Makeup chat. Someone told me about this when I showed them my ColourPop haul when I first got these. I forget who it was. Comment down below if it was you. Bam. There's Becca's Opal. I mean, you can just tell the finish is like exactly the same. Like what? This one's, well that one was a powder, so that one was a little chunky, let me blend that in a bit. But the shine is the same. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, girlfriend, seriously? Definitely, if you were looking at Becca's Opal or if you've been wanting to try Mary Lou forever, try the ColourPop ones, highly recommend. So the bronzers I got are Skinny Dip and Carry On. This reminds me, carry on my wayward son. And I'm just, I don't know why I'm singing today. I'm in a good mood. All right, let's start with Skinny Dip. Now this one is a little bit less uh, oomphy. You know what I'm saying? There isn't a whole lot of oomph to it, but that makes it very, very nice to use for daily looks. So here is Skinny Dip. Very nice, very matte. Uh, this is a neutral shade, so this is a really nice one for a very light contouring if you have a very light skin tone. This would be a nice bronzer for someone with a medium, light to medium to medium skin tone. And then this one here is a bit darker, Carry On. Here is Carry On, again, matte bronzer. Bom, 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 bom. This one is a bit warmer. This one is more of a bronzer rather than a contour. This one is very nice. I mean, I really love the staying power on the bronzers. Again, I usually blend them with my fingertips. Uh, I have used a stippling brush, but I prefer my fingertips. I feel like it's easier to manipulate with my fingertips, but highly recommending the bronzers as well. They're fab. All right, moving on to the lip products. We'll start with the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils. Now, one thing that I will tell you is that with the lippy pencils, I feel like you don't need to own both. Uh, the lippy pencils can also be like matte lipsticks. Let me show you what I mean. I got this one in Wisp. Wisp? No, Westie. Westy, and this one is in Frida. Uh, Westy, I'm just gonna go over to the eyeshadow side. Westy looks like that, and you can see that it is matte. And then here is Frida. Okay, there you go. And I have used these all over my lips and then topped them with a lip balm and really enjoyed that look. So I personally don't feel like you need both the lippy pencil and the lippy stick. I feel like an idiot saying lippy. Do I sound like an idiot saying lippy? I feel like an idiot. Um, but but yeah, so I, I, I don't see the purpose of both. So I actually am very happy that I didn't double up. I didn't do uh, both a lippy stick and a lippy pencil in the same shade and I'm really happy I made that choice. Uh, Let's go ahead and show you these. Uh, I got Lumiere, which is the Kathleen Lights one. This is a matte shade. I got uh, Bound, which is a glossy, and then I got Button, which is a satin. I got the three different finishes because I wanted to see what the difference was and if there was any difference in wear time, things like that. And I have thoroughly tested these and can give you an opinion. Now this one is Lumiere, and I've heard lots of mixed things about Lumiere and what the deal is with it. I do feel like in person it pulls a little more purple than it seems in the swatch. So just so you know, that's what's going on with that. Now, this one here, this is Button. This one is the one I have worn the most. This is a very me color. And there is Button. I absolutely love Button. This one, oh, 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 oh. And then this one I've worn also a lot. This is called Bound. There you go. I love Bound for filming. I love that one a lot. So this one is the glossy finish, this one is the satin finish, and this one is the matte finish. Now the matte does have a tiny bit of a shine to it. I wouldn't say that it is a true matte, uh, but it is very close to a true matte. I, I do enjoy the formula. I don't feel like any of them are drying on the lips, even the matte one I don't feel like is drying. Uh, and I've really enjoyed using these. I feel like the staying power on these are phenomenal. 
phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. One thing I do as uh, I, I always make sure I keep a lip balm in my pocket because these tend to wear where you get like the um, your, your lip starts turning white and then you've got this color, like at least for me with my skin tone, obviously. Um, but I feel like it kind of wears around the inside of my mouth and wears kind of weird. But if I put a lip balm over top, then it wears a lot more evenly, if that makes sense. So every once in a while, I just throw a lip balm on and it fades the color just absolutely beautifully. I found that with the liquid lipsticks as well. But loving the formula, the smell, because that's important to a lot of people, is very um, vanilla-y. I don't smell any kind of weird lipsticky kind of smell. It's just got like a desserty vanilla frosting kind of scent. Uh, it's not super strong. When I put it on my lips, I don't smell it like under, you know, because you know, the color's right here. So I don't really smell it as I'm wearing it, which is really nice for people that are sensitive to smells, but definitely recommend these. I'm really enjoying these lip products. I'm not a huge lip product person. I'm more of like a cheek and eye kind of person. So that's probably the only reason why I'm more enthused about the cheek products than these is just because of a personal obsession with with uh, cheek and eye products, but definitely really, really like these. Now, the last thing I have for you are the lip gloss, not lip glosses, the liquid lipsticks. I got four of them. I am wearing Ouija on my lips right now, of course. I mean, you see, look at this. Look at this color range. I mean, this is, this is me, okay? These are the shades that I always choose. All of my lip products are these shades like this is me. Uh, this is out of my comfort zone. But I braved it because you guys give me confidence. Uh, I've it, So many people that have watched my videos have given me confidence to wear bright shades, so it's because of you that I got this one. Overall, I really, really like this formula. Um, I do feel like it is a tad bit drying, but what I do, again, I just put a lip balm over top. And it's like, this has a lip balm over top. Can you tell? Can you tell? No, you can't tell. It still looks matte uh, and, and it feels much better with that lip balm over top. So if you're willing to do that, I really love these. I have been trying, you know, liquid lipsticks like crazy, really trying them. And honestly, like I like these just as much as the Stila ones. I like them better than the Anastasia ones that I got. I like them just as much as my J-Cat Beauty ones, which are uh, now found at some Ulta's. I, they're not at my Ulta net yet, but they're at some Ulta's. Those are, that's another um, drugstore pricing brand. Uh, but these really are very nice looking lipsticks. Again, just a tad bit drying. I don't know if I'm gonna brave some lip swatches, uh, but if I do brave lip, lip, lip swatches, you're gonna see those right now. All right, my lips are not in the best condition. They're a little bit dry, a little bit raw, but that just shows that's just gonna show you how awesome these lip products are and how they affect my freaky looking lips. <laughs> Thank you.
is my review of ColourPop overall. Again, uh, you know, just as kind of a summary, the negative downsides are some of the shimmery shades. Uh, we'll leave some sparkle on my personal cheeks over the day. Uh, I feel like it's like being hit with fairy dust. I do not enjoy the sparkly eyeshadows at all, the ones that have a lot of glitter. Uh, this one I feel like is the worst offender prickly pear, even though I know a lot of people love that one. Also, the other one that I feel like is a pretty big offender in that area is this one here. What's that one called? This one is called Blaze from the Kathleen Light Squad. Um, those, that, those, that's really my only negative as far as the eyeshadows. Easy to blend, very easy to work with. Uh, staying power is fantastic. Definitely worth the price. Uh, as far as the highlights, blushes, and bronzers, really wonderful formula, very long wearing. Uh, the birthday suit one is a little bit light. Uh, if you really like a very light blush, that one's gonna be for you. If you like pigmentation, that one will not be for you. Uh, highlighters, bronzers, oh, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. As far as the lip products, the lip pencils, I don't feel like you need both the lip pencil and the lip liner. Uh, I would say choose one or the other. Uh, if you want the glossy finish, you can always throw a clear gloss over top. I just don't think it's necessary. Of course you can. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. If you want to get both, get both. I just personally don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, great formulas, great lasting power. Liquid lipsticks are fantastic. Um, again, I like them better than my Anastasia ones. What are those, 20 bucks each? Uh, definitely like them better than that. Uh, and really just fantastic lip products as well. So overall, I hate to say it, like I hate to join the ColourPop bandwagon, but they really do produce very good products overall. So that is my honest review of ColourPop. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you don't miss my future videos, including What's Up and Makeup every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, where you can see all the latest releases all over the U.S. for makeup and sometimes skincare, things like that. And I thank you so much for watching. Mad love and I'll see you soon. Bye!